Welcome back to another episode. Today, we are gonna be doing something that sort of needed to be done. Um, okay, so summer's just around the corner, literally. We're pretty much right there for it. So what does that mean? Boating season, that's right. Our 16-foot Bayliner Capri needs a little bit of TLC. Start the video! Right here is what I have to deal with. Man, what a disaster. The plywood is completely rotted and it needs to be replaced. And on top of that, right here up in this corner, you're gonna see lots of PL glue. I don't know what these guys did, but they were trying to do a half-assed job just to do a temporary fix, and they just made it a disaster. Ah, I got my work cut out for me. So now what I gotta do, I'm gonna try to pull all the staples out of this rotten plywood and try to do the best as I can. Well, let's just get right into it and get our hands dirty. No pun intended. So I applied two coats of this latex waterproof paint and it uh, turned out really nice. Sun finally came out, uh, it sped up the, the drying process on this. So this is for the one seat, I have another one for the second seat, then this one here is for the front seat. So this was more of a two day process and actually what I did and you know, what kind of worked out. So instead of washing, what I did was I filled up a jug of water and literally just did that. And what ended up happening is because of this is waterproof, the brush does not actually soak and putting the brush into the water actually eliminates the oxygen so it doesn't allow the paintbrush to actually dry up. So the next day, went to go use the same paintbrush and it worked fine. I just made sure that I shook it and shook all the water out. All right, for everyone that would want to know what I used over here, this is it. All right, like I was saying, there's a lot of crud in here. I want to vacuum all this stuff up, uh, do a little bit of house cleaning. All right, let's, let's get this going. All right, so now it is the moment of truth. A um, little nervous, but I know this is all dirty, but I just want to test fit it. And then afterwards, uh, when it's ready to install, I am going to clean this up. Oh, nice. All right, it works. <laughs> okay, time to clean up. All right, it's in. <laughs> Friggin' awesome. Okay, so the only thing that I have left to do is actually the front piece over here. Um, I'm gonna need help, so I'm gonna wait for my wife. She can push this in, and I can screw this in together. Um, but it looks friggin' phenomenal. So I did lift this part of the, da well, I did lift this dashboard uh, with this over here. So I'm almost done with this. Uh, I have the three bolts already bolted in. On the bottom here, I actually did a couple of more uh, screws. I did one, two, three, and I'm gonna do two more over here. Uh, those two over here was actually the original sort of bolt style, like this style, uh, but I need to get new ones. These ones are short. Uh, remember, we actually upped the size of the plywood over here, went from half inch to three quarters. So I need to adjust the, the bolt size accordingly. But I'm going to see if I can find some that are the same thread as this bolt. Okay, so next thing to do is, because so that's sort of put on hold right now. Uh, next thing to do is actually that board right there. Uh, but I am going to clean the back of it. I'm also going to vacuum this area. So let's get back to it. Demonstrate on actually how I'm doing this. So after taking all the staples out over here, uh, just pull back the vinyl and then what you can do is just pull the board out, put the new piece in and then restaple everything in. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys on how I'm doing this. Also what I did was to get this area for the studs 
So I'll mark the holes from behind and I drill the holes so that way I can put the studs right through. As you can see right there, right one and two, that's the board I'm gonna be using for over here. Okay, so I screwed up over here is when the bolt, when this piece is uh, sitting on its spot, it's gonna be sitting like this. So the way I have this folded is if any water comes in, this will actually hold the water, which I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna change some stuff around. I'm gonna have this piece overlap that and this one overlap this. So that way if any water goes down, it passes over it. This, this is actually my first time doing vinyl work. Man, you guys that do this for a living, my hat is off to you guys. Cause this is not easy. Pretty much, this one here is pretty much done. There was no backing over here. So next step to do is uh, put this in. All right, there you go. It's got pretty good alignment up here. Looking good. All right, everything is back together. Looking so good. I just spent some time cleaning everything up over here. And wow, look at this. So this is back up. I used uh, number eight stainless steel Phillips screws. Uh, it's about an inch and a quarter. Yeah, inch and a quarter long. So you can see sort of the little holes that I put over here in between the slots. And then there's two more over here, but I drilled them from behind forward. Um, when we get the boat into the sun and the vinyl actually heats up or warms up, it'll, it'll go back to shape. So, but right now you can see where, where the screws are, but I'm not worried about that. But man, oh, look, this is looking so much better, so much better. Carpet over here is vacuumed. I'm going to purchase some of that Bulldog spray glue. I'm going to peel back the carpet over here. Oh, there we go. We can see that a bit better. Um, just spray the glue and then push the carpet back to where it is. It's just peeling off. It looks like it was just used adhesive spray adhesive to put it there. Then as well as this area right here, that board, the seat is uh, redone with the three quarter inch plywood. Same with the backing with the three quarter inch plywood. And uh, I bolted everything there. Looking really nice. I'm not going to show you the rest of the boat because it's a disaster. This is the only clean area. <laughs> but I'm liking it so far. Oh man, so, so happy. After all that work, the boat looks really much better. Absolutely much better. Uh, especially that front trim that went around uh, as some other videos, I don't know if you guys actually remember seeing it. It was dangling, hanging, it, it really bothered me. And the fact now that it's properly mounted up there and the fact that the dashboard now has a proper support with that three quarter inch plywood vertical, you know that's gonna be solid and it's gonna hold on nicely. And the best part is that window 
the center window can actually close and open without catching or getting, yeah, without getting caught with the other window. So really, really happy with that. Uh, to be honest with you, as I keep saying, my hat goes out to all you guys who do upholstery or even do vinyl work for boats, man. For my first, first job, and it wasn't a full-fledged job, it's tough work. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that likes button. <laughs> my daughter wants to say hi. <laughs> hey, Helena. Yeah? What do they have to do if they want to see more videos? Hit the subscribe button. And? Hit, hit that bell. Ding, ding. All right, guys, till next time. Who knows? Maybe we'll see you out there. Bye. <laughs> Later.